The UK's National Health Service is witnessing a record low public satisfaction. A new survey claimed that just 24 percent of respondents are satisfied with the NHS in 2023. The poll conducted by National Center for Social Research has been running since 1983. In 2010, the percentage point reached its highest at 70 percent. Fourteen years later, as of today, the public view of the health service is down by an enormous 46 percent from its peak. And according to British Social Attitudes survey, 52 percent of respondents are dissatisfied with the NHS. And the satisfaction with a social care has fallen to 13 percent. Both the findings are the lowest since the survey began. National Center for Social Research polled more than 3,000 people across England, Wales and Scotland. Most of the respondents said that it takes too long to get a general physician or hospital appointment. Staff shortage at NHS is the second most cited reason, followed by low government spending on NHS. The state of NHS is one of the key topics in the upcoming general election. According to a poll by Ipsos, majority of Britons identified the state of NHS as one daunting issue facing another in the country. General Secretary Royal College of Nursing Pat Collins says that voters must now make NHS and care services the central issue of the general election. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for the Department of Health and Social Care, the NHS, claims that progress is being made while adding that government is slowly achieving its goal of reducing the waiting list. Now, earlier, we put this question to our correspondent. As to why the National Health Service is witnessing a record low public satisfaction, here's what she had to say. Since this poll began in 1983, just 24% of people are satisfied with the health service offered by the United Kingdom government, uh, something that is funded by taxpayers in this country. Uh, and that comes after a record high back in 2010, which was uh, when the Conservatives came into power. Uh, it's also a pretty stark fall since the COVID era. Of course, the COVID-19 pandemic has a lot to do with some of these problems in the health service. We've seen a big drop in satisfaction since 2020, and it isn't looking like it's going to recover anytime soon as the health service continues to be plagued by issues, uh, by delays, by long waiting times, and now, of course, by strike action as well. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.